Metric one of four is infection growth rate. This is important because COVID is a disease that affects breathing and, like the flu, is spread by a virus that is primarily transmitted by airborne particles. Infection growth rate is also known as RT or R effective, and it's one of the most important metrics when it comes to COVID because it tells us how fast COVID is spreading in a given area. The value of RT represents the number of people that a single infected person goes on to infect in a specific area over a specific period of time. This value can change over time depending on lots of factors, including a community's behavior. You can imagine a community where people are more active, say going to concerts and bars and restaurants really frequently, and how that community would likely have a greater RT compared to a community in which people are largely confined to their own homes, just because in that second community, people's contact to each other would be limited and therefore they wouldn't be able to go on and infect as many other people. Nina from California also asked about this R with a little zero next to it, which is pronounced as R naught. R naught is different from R effective because it represents the natural ability of a virus to spread, whereas R effective is the actual or effective spread of a virus and takes into account changes such as public health measures or the development of a vaccine. At COVID Act Now, we look at R effective because it's a more accurate representation of what is happening right now. Some of you also asked how we calculate our effective. We calculate it based on actual death and other data. We won't get into the details of that mathematical formula today because it would take too much time. But let us know if you'd be interested in another webinar that does. Now, I like this visual because it makes RT a little more tangible and clear. In this example, RT is equal to three. As you can see at the top, we start with one infected individual. During that ind individual's contagious period, they go on to infect three other people. Then each of those three people infect three more people, bring the total count of infections to nine people. Eventually nine becomes 27 and then 81 and so forth as the pattern continues. This is known as exponential growth, which is when the larger value, the faster it grows. This is different from linear growth, which is constant no matter the value. Exponential growth is a key reason why infectious diseases like COVID are so dangerous, since the more people have it, the faster it spreads. So the higher RT is in a given place, the faster COVID is spreading there. An RT above one means that the number of cases is growing. If RT is less than one, that means that cases are shrinking. This is an example of what our RT chart looks like, and this was pulled directly from the COVID Act Now website. You can see that in Plymouth County, Massachusetts, up until late May, RT was above one, which means that the number of COVID cases was increasing. But since late May, Plymouth County's RT has been below one, and it was recently as low as 0.84. This means that since late May, the number of cases has been decreasing. However, as I mentioned earlier, the data for Plymouth may have changed since we pulled the screenshot. In addition, it's important to note that there is typically a delay from when someone is infected to when that person receives their test results and is officially confirmed as an infected case. This delay is affected by things like the test capacity of a particular region or the turnaround speed of a testing facility. What this means is that by the time you see the number of cases increasing for your county or state, COVID has probably already been spreading for days or weeks. It also means that social distancing will take at least a few days, if not weeks, to show up as a decrease in cases. So the data that you see, including in our graphs, will always be a little delayed in reflecting your actual actions. 